Okay, today I'm going to be putting double stuff Oreos in my vacuum chamber. And through this method, I'm going to show you the best way ever to separate an Oreo. So normally, here's what happens when you try to separate an Oreo. You twist it, the other side's still stuck and you can't really grab the cream and twist it. You can bite it off, but there's no way to twist it off and get only the center, unless you have a vacuum chamber. Okay, I've got my Oreos set up. Okay, by the time this is finished at the end, I should be able to separate all of these Oreos into the individual cookies and the centers without any mess or any problem. So I'll explain at the end why this happens. I'll let you guess first and then at the end of the video, I'll tell you how it happens. You can guess in the comments section. Okay, Oreos in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Okay, let's see if we can see them get a little bit bigger. So there's not a lot of air in the center of Oreos, so you're not gonna see them expand much. They are going to expand a little. I'll put it in fast motion at the end of this so you can see it in uh, fast motion and see it expand a little bit. But at the end is what I'm looking for. Looks like they're getting a little bit bigger. Okay, we're at 0.2 atmospheres. Point 0.1 atmospheres. You can see the cookies have expanded a little bit. Okay, we're at full vacuum here. Okay, let's let the air in and see what happens to the Oreos. First, let's see if they squish down. And open it slowly so we don't tip them over. Yeah, I could see them shrink when I let the air back in. Okay, now here's the cool part. Look at this. <laughs> Look how they just fall off. They just pop right off. So I'll tell you how this happens, but first pause the video, comment in the comment section with why you think this happens. Okay, so you can see how easily they separate. They just pop right out. Awesome. Okay, there's the finished product, complete Oreo separation using a vacuum chamber. So here's my guess of why this happened in the vacuum chamber. So one reason you could think of why this happens is because there's suction on the Oreos when they're smushed together and then under vacuum it breaks that suction and they fall apart. But I did an experiment earlier where I tested when the suction actually broke or when the cookie became loose and it wasn't until I let the air back in. So if it were just a suction thing, then it would happen when it's under full vacuum. That would be the, the most likely time for the cookie to fall apart. So when I let the air back in, that's when the cookie actually became unstable. And when, it, when the air was fully in, that's when it fell apart. So my guess for why this happened is because the inside of the cookie actually expands a little bit. And so when you put it under vacuum, the expansion happens slowly. And then when you let the air back in, it happens quickly and it unsticks from the cookie on either side. And so you get a clean separation of the filling and the cookie when you let the air back in quickly. And when you do it just right, you can get a perfect separation of the center and the cookies. Awesome. As you remember, normally when you open an Oreo, usually one side comes off easily, but the other side doesn't. All you can do is kind of scrape it off, but you can bite it off, which is fun, but you don't get a clean separation. Now I'm going to eat me some Oreos.
Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you learned a little something about Oreos and vacuums. I know I did. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when a new video comes out, and we'll see you next time.